we're really excited today to have a special guest, an old friend of ours, Myra Flynn. She is with Source Technologies, and she's here to share some of the security solutions that Source Technologies offers. Hello, Myra. Hey, Brent. It's great to be back in front of Arlington's team. Well, we appreciate you being here, and uh, we love the we love security. Security is a a big hot topic right now with our customers and with their customers. So we're excited to have you. I think we'll just start. Uh, you're with Source Technologies. Love the logo. I see it behind you. Always branding. I love that as a marketing <laughs> guy. Can you tell us a little bit about who Source Technologies is? A little bit about the history. Sure. So Source Technologies was founded in 1986. Um, we're based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. We have an amazing relationship with uh, Lexmark, and we have go to market with our secure microprinting solutions um, based on that Lexmark engine. Uh, we've been partners with Lexmark since 1993 when we first developed our first microprinter. Uh, we also have full engineering staff on site that has developed that micro solution, as well as our own in-house USA made uh, check printing software that we developed and released in 2005. Uh, we've been around 37 years. We have a great capture of um, some of the fortune, top fortune 500 companies and that have trusted us with their check printing solutions. So there's a lot of misconceptions, maybe I per se, about Micker. Is is Micker still even required? Yes, Micker is still required, and that's one of the most common misperceptions that was created by the enactment of Check 21. So Check 21 is uh, the check clearing of the 21st Century Act. We call it Check 21 for sure. Sure, it was signed in law in 2003 and it became effective on October the 28th, 2004. What it does is allows for digital imaging or substitute checks to replace an original check. However, MICR is still required on that original check. What banks do is they recreate checks to get them to the clearinghouse quicker than sending that original document. Uh, the Federal Reserve has a web page that's completely dedicated to frequently asked questions about Check 21, and it clearly defines that um, and confirms that MICR is still required for those original checks. Great. So uh, we we're talking about checks. We're hearing a lot of about checks, MICR and checks, something that those of us that have been in print for a long time are aware of, but there's so much automated payroll happening. Is, is there even a need for printed checks anymore? Yes, uh, this is another one of my favorite, not so favorite misconceptions, right? Look, you and I, well, we're not paying our bills with paper checks, right? But companies are. In fact, in 2022, 3.3 .3 billion B2B checks were issued. That equates to 13 million checks printed on a daily basis. You know, the most common reasons why a business is going to stay with that check printing um, once it, one, you know, businesses, if it's not broke, we're not going to fix it. So they're just going to continue to pay their bills um, the way that they always have. Uh, another reason, a lot of them like to extend that float and, and retain their deposits into their accounts as long as possible. Um, Another thing that we've seen and we've heard over the last 10, 11 months has been that um, there's a loss of confident in ACH and wire transfers because there's actually been an increase in fraud in those type of um, payments. You know, at the end of the day, every company is paying bills. And if we're the trusted advisors and partners to our customers, it definitely warrants a a discovery conversation to determine if the customer does have those security gaps. So with individuals paying with checks, get it. Now companies, has their philosophy changed? Or, and what are different ways that companies may be printing checks today? Yeah, so we've identified four different ways that um, companies are are printing or, or creating checks, right? The first is uh, going to be outsourcing it to a third party, and this is the most expensive way. Um, I've seen it as low as just a couple of dollars per check, but I've, I've seen it as high as $18 to the company per check that is issued. 
Um, that's going to be one of the least common ways that you're going to see a company doing it. Uh, the second way would be by purchasing pre-printed check stock. So that's that check stock that already has the account number, route number, um, and check number printed on the bottom of the check. It's high risk of fraud by doing it this way. Fraud is as easy as access to that check stock. Um, third way is um, what we see most common, and that's going to be when a customer takes just a standard printer, just any regular printer that, that you would do standard everyday type of printing, and they add a micro cartridge to it. This is high risk of fraud. Um, there is there, there are compliancy issues that could crop up with doing it this way and um, functionality issues. Those standard printers, they're not optimized for micro, which can lead to poor adhesion of that toner to the paper. It can lead to misalignment of the micro line. Um, and the list goes on. I can go into great detail of, of some of the issues that can crop up. But the worst part of it all is something if something does go wrong with their check prints workflow, there's no one for them to help. You know, it's it's piecemeal together and there's not a technical support team to assist them. So, you know, what we're proposing is printing with a secure micro printer. You know, that's going to be enhanced with security features specifically for check printing. You know, um, not only is there on-demand security features that are going to be added to beef up the security of that printed document, but it also offers additional security like uh, audit reports and encryption and decryption. Um, but almost more importantly is the security of the secure micro printer, it's the functionality, right? Something as simple as an accounting software can misalign a micro line and only a secure micro printer has the ability to realign that micro line. Um, and if something does happen, technical support team is totally 100% dedicated to micro printing. And so we're able to assist customers that are having issues with printing checks and um, get them back online quickly. Right, well, a lot of our viewers I know are selling, and they're very familiar, they're selling a lot of printers, they're selling a lot of toner, and we're thankful for that. Yes. But I'm sure some of them are wondering, like how does the source technologies, printers and supplies themselves differ from just the OEM? standard OEM models. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Source Technologies has a, um, in a team of in-house engineers. Those engineers collaborate with the Lexmark engineers to design the firmware that integrates seamlessly within that Lexmark engine. So we're adding all of those additional features specifically for check printing and making sure that not only do they have the additional security, but that functionality that goes along with it. Um, ST is also proud. Um, we're very proud to boast that our micro cartridges are the only true OEM micro cartridge on the market. Everybody else is fill in drill. Um, S Source Technologies and the Lexmark en um, engineers have worked together to develop that full true OEM micro solution from the hardware to um, our, our consumables as well. Uh, another differentiator for source technologies is, is our confidence behind our quality. Source technologies is so confident in the quality of our microtoner, we will pay bank fines due to poor micro, micro signal. And we'll do that up to three years from invoice after that purchase, right? I have not heard of any other microtoner on the market that uh, guarantees the signal strength of the micro and will pay those bank fines. So that's that's our level of confidence in um, such a critical business solution, right? Um, it's also worth noting that all source technologies, printer engines, and our toner cartridges and supplies are all manufactured in the U.S. or Mexico. That's great. Well, other than other than uh, source te uh, Arlington itself, is there a source to get for our customers to learn more about Source Technologies products solutions that you could uh, you could rec recommend they go? 
Yeah, absolutely, Brent. Um, our company or Source Technologies marketing team is always um, creating new content. Um, so LinkedIn is a great source of, um, of information, but even better than that, if you go to our website um, and you look at through our blogs, there is a plethora of information about check printing, um, check printing for banks, general AP, uh, remote check printing opportunities. And we are on a cadence to do at least two blogs a quarter. So we're always putting out new content that is relative to what is going on in the market right now. That's the answer I was hoping you'd say, because yeah, the blogs are great. The social media is great. We follow them here. So yeah, I encourage everybody to follow Source Technologies if you're not already. But also, we're excited at Arlington um, to be introducing a new site, uh, arley.com slash security. And uh, we encourage you to go there. We're going to have resources from Source there as well as some of our own. So uh, we encourage you to do that. Myra, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for, for, for helping give us a little more insight into source technologies and how you can help our customers, help their customers with security. Thank you. Thanks, Brett, my pleasure.